Him. This Giro d'Italia is so emphatically his that it's almost ridiculous. Today, Pagaccia, the destroyer of dreams, the writer of history, and the winner at will. Another extraordinary chapter in this amazing career unfolds before our very eyes at altitude in the snow of the Giro d'Italia. Pagaccia is incomparable. Thank goodness. So off we go again, but that's... Where's well, the flag about to drop from Alocchio? I think it is. That's it, we're off. Yeah. The racing is off from a standing start. And uh, Groupama FDG, the first to launch a salvo. Yeah, a couple of riders uh, trying to get up the road. Polti Cometa, as well as Kofidis. Caleb Ewan. <laughs> Simone Velasco. As you say, Caleb Ewan trying to buy himself a bit of road. Yeah, Lewis Aski. Three riders off the front from uh, Groupam FTJ. Danny, some people say that uh, today the Giro starts. But for you, does your career start? It looks like the first time you are the leader of a team and you are in the top three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today is, uh, I think, uh, it will be hard. Just stays, you know. I am, to be honest, uh, uh, confident in myself. And yeah, today is a big day. Being a Colombian, are you happy when you see that there is the Mortirolo and Livigno on the race? Yeah, 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 for sure. So uh, we passed the more than 2,000 meters, the altitude. So for me, I think it's a uh, really good opportunity also. What would make you happy at the end of today? Ah, to do my best, for sure. I want to do my best on the on the stage. And, the, and yeah, I try to uh, keep uh, the position on the, on the podium. Propping over his bike quite casually. Yeah, very casually. Look at that classic little kicks down there. Just, just using the pedal on the curb. Taking his... That was very deftly done. Just really gently done, wasn't it? No, just so relaxed. Economical. His spare bike has got a number on as well. That's quite committing to this tactic now. Yeah. And also, there's a lot of points on offer later in the race. Maybe there's a couple of stages that Geshka has identified. Right, I'm going to go all in on these stages. Uh, but first, okay. we don't want to let uh, Karma jump yet. This gets out on the back. So Harrison Wood is, has had that communicated to him. So he gets a pass at the moment just to sit on the back. Yeah, I don't think that's a little shake of the head there from Harrison. Yeah, Wood. I don't think he's happy. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Okay. To attack off the off the Malia Rosa group. Well, this is a pretty exciting day. We said it wouldn't be explosive, and it has. <laughs> yeah. This stage is in danger there of comes, missing there this. Comes. Harrison Wood is there, he might, he might be pithy. caught by surprise. As uh, Pithy just tracks the move of uh, Lilian Kamjan there. Wood can't react. Pithy on his wheel, that's a problem for Kamjan. Why is Pithy going for it? I have no idea. Kamjan can't out sprint Lewis Pithy, uh, Lawrence Pithy, and uh, Kamjan has to settle for second place there. That's, I mean, again. Scaroni is well. getting involved, so Geshka's got a real battle on his hands here to get these 18 points. Comes alongside Tobias Bayer, and where's that line? Geshka is looking for it, hoping it comes, and he's going to get it. He is going to get it, so... It's not come yet. <laughs> on they go, 100 metres still to go. Scaroni's definitely fighting Geshka for this. Up it kicks! Violently to the top, steep little section, and... Ooh, Scaroni for me. Yeah, so Looks like he got that. Geshka second, so... He'll continue to ride for as long as he can and as safely as he can, but yep, yeah, a uh, front traversion, foot out. And it's going to have to come from neutral service. Yeah, it's going to have to. Oh, there's, oh, that's his team car isn't there, so taking one from neutral service won't be too much of a problem. It's a Shimano neutral service car, and uh, Adafleep himself has a Shimano wheels. They're equipped with that, so that. More mechanical trouble this time. Gamper gets going, and Schwarzman, uh, not Schwarzman, oh, Martinez again. Yeah, I think it's, is he changing back to his... No, he's not, he's on a spare now, so clearly an issue there first. His second bike change. Oh, is it? Just slightly unwanted not this, isn't it? All this it's only about 3% gradient, so still very quick, and they are, they are taking some pretty big chunks, all being told out of the gap. One minute and 19 seconds now. 3Ks to that intermediate sprint. 
next rest of the years. Ballerini shuts the door on him. Yeah. Well, he's no contest, is he? No. Between Ballerini and Bayer. Look, Whoa, watch out, watch out, watch out. He's coming up there. No. <laughs> Bayer picks up second place, and Bayer I think went... it was uh, Tonelli in third. Indeed, but Bayer went for one of the KOMs earlier on, didn't he? This is it. On the go, onto the Motorola then, sweeping left-handed, and it's Tonelli who's doing a great ride here from VF Group Bardiani, with Giulio Pellizzari on his wheel, Christian Scaroni and... And look to O'Connor, who's a minute or so behind behind him and his, his team's chase. They've got some really good climbers. They've got Bodin up there as well. They've got Paris Pantre, who can make a difference on climb. So I think it would be Decathlon AG2R if this... 40 points on offer in the King of the Mountains competition. Here comes Christian Scaroni. A big dig, though, and they all want these 40 points. But I don't think anyone's going to get there before Christian Scaroni scoops up 40 points and he moves into second place. In, oh, no, third place in the King of the Mountains competition for now. ...of uphill riding to go. Nicola Conchi just... Just keeping that stretched out and making it difficult for those riders to get back on and make the junction. But Walter gets across first. Marie van Seven and, and Julien Alaphilippe also. Because he did so much work to come across to the front of the race. So instead it's going to be between Pigonsoli and Conchi and Attila Walter to take the sprint. And it looks like Walter is going to go cross in first place with Conchi in second place and Piconsoli in third. Getting ready for this uh, very short descent. Romping up this climb, isn't it? Incredible. Into a Galleria and Steinhauser now accepting that he can't hold the wheel of uh, Nara Quintana, who paced that back foot slightly. And what they don't want to do is open themselves up to an attack from Danny Martinez on GCS. Dasta. They're in a difficult place. Yep. As uh, Davide Piconsoli will be on the podium at the end of the day for the Intergiro. That's a funny little expressive move there again from Alaphilippe. Is it? You have it. For it. <laughs> go on then. He was like, well, because he, he did went for it, didn't he? Then he went yeah. oh, here. Almost a glance from Tadej Pogacar, but uh, Steinhauser will do his best to try and hold the wheel of the pink jersey there. And that leaves just one rider out front and one rider over the top of this Cat 1 climb. Nairo Quintana takes the mountain, but it's not the last. He's got 8.9 kilometres to go in this race, and he's got the battle. 4.7 yeah. kilometres still to come. Well, this man's given himself a good chance, though, isn't he? Yeah, I think he's a rider, don't you, Matt, that, that can't really afford to go to the tops of these climbs with the likes of Quintana, with uh, Jonathan Navais or the Pura climbers. This is the only way he's got. And a little gift to a fan by the side of the road as uh, Pogaccia removed... Yet another pair of sunglasses and one very, very happy Slovenian bicycling fan picks up. Oh, it's gloves, is it? Not glasses, gloves. Sweet by him. It's just, this is a man that knows how to climb. He really does. He, can, he knows how to climb and he can climb. 33. Team and Adamsman can barely hold here it, go. and here we go! He's off again, the history maker, off in pursuit of the legend this time of Eddie Merckx, who won on this mountain in 1972 in the Malia Rosa, and that's the difference between Pogaccia and everybody else in this bike race. Martinez, kilometres to two. Absolutely no contest. Today Pogaccia gets to Naira Quintana, moves into first place on the road, and nothing. inevitably towards nothing. victory. Yeah. He just didn't even look across, didn't even acknowledge the former Giro d'Italia winner. The insolence of youth against the travails of experience. Naira Quintana's best days are behind him. That was a flicker of what we... Him. This Giro d'Italia is so emphatically his that it's almost ridiculous. Today, Pogaccia, the destroyer of dreams, the writer of history and the winner at will. Another extraordinary chapter in this amazing career unfolds before our very eyes at altitude in the snow of the Giro d'Italia. Pogaccia is incomparable.